I want to thank Dr. Salim and ISESCO for allowing me to speak about our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the greatest human who stepped on this earth. Firstly, our Prophet, greatest civilization on earth. And that civilization was based on the state of Medina, which the Prophet set up. The state of Medina was based on two principles. Number one was rule of law. Our Prophet said that even if his daughter committed a crime, she would be, she would be punished. And secondly, he said that many nations before you have been destroyed who had one law for the, the powerful and the rich and one for the weak and the poor. In other words, nations which did not have rule of law, who had the law of the jungle, might is right, were sooner or later destroyed. And great nations always were based upon uh, justice. The second thing our prophet uh, set up was the first welfare straight in the history of mankind. First time the state took responsibility of the weak section of its society. The poor, the orphans, the widows, even the elderly, because pensions were the well, first time we heard of pensions was in the time of the second Khalifa, Hazrat Umar, where the state took responsibility of the old. So this was a unique state. First, it took care of its weak. And secondly, it brought the powerful under the law. These, even today, this is the main thing which distinguishes a civilized society from what is called a banana republic. And the societies that are closer to these two principles are the ones that are prosperous, and the other societies which, are, which do not have rule of law and which do not have compassion relegated to the dustbin of history. We have uh, seen the latest rising power, China. The Chinese took out over 700 million people in 30 years. They took them out of poverty. In other words, they thought about the weak in the society. And secondly, over 400 ministerial level positions, people were thrown into jails for corruption. In other words, they brought the powerful under the law. This is, in my opinion, the basis of a society which, which emerges, which grows, which ascends. And it was on these principles the state of Medina was based upon. And in human history, it was the most remarkable turnaround from Arabs who were desert Arabs who had no significance. Within the space of 12, 13 years after the Prophet uh, took over the state of Medina, it's uh, one of the most remarkable things in human history that within 12 years, the Romans had collapsed in front of this new revolution. And in another year, the other superpower, the Persians had collapsed under this, uh, this new ideology. And it became the greatest civilization because it, under the rule of law, it liberated human beings. There was meritocracy. There was compassion. They, were, they led the world in, in science. For hundreds of years, they had the best scientists, the best thinkers. And that was, that was because of the foundation laid in the state of Padina. And I hope that in the Muslim world, we will again go back to those basic principles because those basic principles are, according to our great Iqbal, one of the greatest thinkers of the subcontinent, who said that whenever, whenever in history the Muslims have uh, uh, risen up, they've always gone back to the old principles of, uh, of Islam which were embedded by the Prophet in the state of Medina. Thank you.